What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video I have for you an insanely powerful money glitch. You can make 1.8 millions every 2 minutes, which means you can make up to 70 millions per hour with this glitch. And big shout out to my sponsors and members, so big shout out to Unsout Wolf, big shout out to Magic Gaming Xbox One, big shout out to Melissa Stevens, um, big shout out to Zap, big shout out to Shopsticks, big shout out to Rodel, Duncan, same thing for Joshua Zink, and special thanks to Swatfly Doza, Mr. Nocerato, and O'Doyle Rules. So if you also want to become a member, receive money every month in Grand Theft Auto Online or insane modded cars because if there's a gift cards to friends and you're looking for a specific vehicle, for a special vehicle or something, if you're a member on my channel, you will receive the vehicle. That's it. It is that simple. Only $5 per month. Only $5 per month and you have everything you want in the game. You can also get inside informations when there's a Benny's merge because I know all the tips and tricks concerning the Benny's merge for the glitch roof for example for the runer this is extremely rare if you want to know how to do them all just make sure to click on the join button right now but if you're on your mobile if you if you're using a mobile device you just want to click on the link in the description to become a member there's also a giveaway right now on the channel. I will give 20 million dollars to one lucky subscriber on September 27th. It is very soon, so make sure to subscribe right now. Turn the post notifications on by clicking on the bell beside the subscribe button. From there to be eligible or to fulfill your participation, you also need to drop a comment. Let me know you want to be part of the giveaway and don't forget to drop a like. So please everybody drop a like right about now. So to do this insanely powerful money glitch, you need a friend. You will also need a mobile operation center with personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. And to duplicate your cars, you can use your arena workshop level. You can also use your casino penthouse garage or your nightclub basement level 2, 3 or 4. You can even duplicate your cars with your facility and your mobile app will not return to your bunker so you can rinse and repeat this glitch super fast even if you don't have a casino or an arena. But from here guys, this is the friend perspective. Your friend needs to be in the session with you so you guys can start an invite only session. It is very important your friend needs to register as a CEO. He needs to be inside his casino penthouse and he needs to grab this phone. To do so, he needs to press right on the D-pad. After that, he simply needs to get to this section, Valet Service. And now he needs to click on that and click on Penthouse Garage and select the vehicle he has inside the Penthouse Garage. And as soon as you select the vehicle inside your Penthouse Garage, you need to start spamming on the pause button. If you do it fast enough, you will have this menu, the pause menu, open and you will be able to scroll down to options and select kill yourself. Kill yourself will be grayed out, it is completely normal. Just spam A on it and at some point you will pass out. But remember guys, you need to do this extremely fast. So at this point you are done with the setup of this glitch and you can start to duplicate cars like crazy. As you can see my character spawned outside. Um, Generally, you spawn right in front of the casino door uh, on the vehicle when you select the vehicle in your garage penthouse. But as you can see, I am completely glitched out because I spawned pretty far away from the casino and my vehicle appears on the map and I can get in this vehicle. But at this point, your friend or the person who wants to duplicate cars, uh, he needs to take his phone and make sure he has a bunch of fagios. Okay, so he simply needs to purchase them and put them in any garage he might have. But it's very important, don't put any fagios inside your MC clubhouse or you will not be able to duplicate cars with this glitch or you will have issues at some point. There we go, now I have a bunch of fagios. So at this point if you want you can request your mobile operation center 
or you can get inside your penthouse garage. Remember, at this point, you're supposed to have the car you want to duplicate inside your casino, but at this point, if you want, you can also use your arena. It is the exact same steps. So I have the car I want to duplicate inside my casino penthouse garage, but also this vehicle. So I will simply drive any car out of my casino penthouse garage. And at this point, you need to tell your friend to get inside your vehicle. At this point, you just want to exit the vehicle and request your mobile operation center. Sometimes your mobile operation center will uh, spawn in the parking. If it is the case, make sure you can see the blue circle behind it. But sometimes it spawns a little bit further away. Uh, it's gonna be the case for me in this video. So what I'm gonna do, I will simply run to it and park my mobile operation center right in front of my casino. And by the way, you will not need to request your mobile operation center every time you do the glitch. You just need to request your mobile operation center once and you're good. So at this point, I need to register as an MC president and I need to uh, request a Fagio. But first, my friend needs to drive away with my other vehicle because if he is too close from me, I will not be able to request a Fagio. And once you requested your Fagio, you'll see guys, um, it's not gonna show up on the map. It's not gonna show up and this is exactly what you want, exactly what you need. So at this point, just get inside your penthouse garage, drive the car you want to duplicate out of your penthouse garage and tell your friend to exit your other vehicle. It is that simple. Every time you will do these little steps, you will get a brand new car with a brand new plate, okay? So as you can see now, I just need to run to the vehicle I want to duplicate and drive this thing out. So once you're outside, like I said, you just want to tell your friend to exit your other vehicle. This other vehicle will disappear. And from there, you just need to get to your mobile operation center. Press right on the D-pad. It's going to tell you personal vehicle storage is full. Just accept this alert and boom, you just successfully duplicated your car. If you want to rinse and repeat the glitch, like I said, you don't need to do the setup of this glitch again. You just need to drive this car out of your mobile operation center. Tell your friend to get inside your vehicle. Just run to your casino penthouse garage door. Request another Fagio and just rinse and repeat the last few steps. So yes, you will be able guys to make millions and millions with this glitch. And Rockstar will have a hard time to patch this glitch, guaranteed guys. So we are good for a while, we can make millions and millions. I will use this glitch once again, you know, to mod accounts and everything. So yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it is the case, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn the post notifications on by clicking on the bell beside the subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a comment if you need help with this glitch, if you have no friends on. We also have solo money glitches here at the moment. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. of the unlimited chip glitch obviously they patched the chip glitch but if you still want to make money if you still have no money and you have no requirements and you still want to guaranteed come out positive in the casino you know what i'm saying but what you can do is you can control how much money you make and you can control how much money you lose so first things first you might want to spin the wheel if you have zero dollars just to see if you can get up to fifty thousand chips for free right now we got about fifty thousand chips to our name and if you're looking for a glitch that makes you millions way faster than this glitch then i do have a solo unlimited money glitch linked in the description of this video and in the pinned comments of the comments so you can just click that and it's a brand new for sure working solo unlimited money glitch all right so i'm gonna show you what i recorded a little bit ago and i'm gonna show you what i did
to win and what you can do to win every single time, 99% of the time on this game. I'm about to show y'all the Xbox version of the unlimited chip glitch, okay? Now, if you guys are dead broke and you have absolutely no money, you might wanna come over here to the wheel first and throw a spin on the wheel. Because if you're dead broke, you need like 50,000 chips to start off with. So, I'm going to cash in all of my chips instead of 50,000 and then or let's see what we win right here. You should be able to get 50,000. Like from any mission, honestly, or just even like doing the robin the We got 20,000. Okay. So, I'm going to go cash in my chips buy 20,000 and then we're gonna go over to the horse betting and show you how to turn 20,000 into a hundred thousand and if you turn a if you turn a hundred thousand here trade chips in how do you trade ma here we go max then we'll just do 20,000 less We'll trade in a good 200,000 chips just to keep it up. There, that should be close right here. Boom. Whatever we got left. I'm a little short of 20,000. Oh, there we go. That's close. 26,000. So what I'm going to do is this isn't exactly like the chip glitch where you bet a hundred and win, you know, 20,000, but you are going to have to make a max bet on this and I'm going to show you how to pretty much win every single time because that's all that really matters. So if you're going to win every single time, you want to sit down, sit down. You want to go to place bet solo. Now, what you're going to look for is all in the odds. You want this one to be 5 to 1 odds or worse. This one can be evens, but this is 2 to 1. You don't want to bet on this no matter what. So, this trick is all in... If you go slow, if you don't back out fast... Now look, this is 5 to 1 odds, but this is 4 to 1 odds. You don't really want to bet on this but if you wanted to make a quick little come up you really want this to be five to one odds and this to be two to one or evens so we're just gonna be disciplined I almost bet on that but see that's two to one at the top but we can't get the five to one so look five to one and five to one you don't want to bet on this because it's a crazy advantage when you can get five to one and then two to one. So crackers and please, I just feel like we're gonna lose this. You know, we don't want to lose ever. With the Xbox method, you don't wanna lose ever. We don't have a workaround right now on Xbox. Here we go, five to one and two to one. We really want this to be evens, but we're gonna go to max bet. We only got 26,000 chips. And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna waste all of your time trying to watch me do this, but um, I just want you to see how you can still win pretty much every time. So I did risk a little bit of chips that time. I only got 16,000 chips left, but if our horse wins, we should be in a good position so you can understand exactly what I mean. The number five horse better not win. Come on. Come on. Daddy need a new pair of shoes. Daddy need a new pair of shoes. There we go. We win. So if you win every time, it's still kind of like the glitch. Because as you see, I just won 30,000 chips. So not only do I have the 26 I started with, I got 30,000 extra. Which we would have won anyway from doing the glitch the other time. So it doesn't add extra chips just because you only bet a hundred what the other way does is just control how much you can lose okay 
but this way I'm trying to still help you control what you lose so you always win it might take a little longer but look five to one five to one we're gonna go back until we get the right odds that we know we want evens two to one that's what it is you just don't want to bet on every single race other youtubers are telling y'all to bet on the top horse no matter what that's not true me it's a programmer and a math expert I'm telling you right now if you can get in a position to where the second horse is two to or five to one and this is two to one or evens you gonna win 99% of the time because five to one is absolutely horrible that's like something you normally want to see on like the three or the four horse so see we need evens and a four to one we're not doing it this is the way you come up guys we're trying to make some real money and certain horses you know you might see here we go five to one in evens so we're gonna bet on Lydis truck and we're gonna give it all the money now this doesn't matter how much you bet it really doesn't they mean I mean if we lose we're gonna lose 20 bands if we win we're gonna look we're gonna win 20 um 10 if we know if we lose we're gonna lose 10 bands and if we win we're gonna win 20 but this is what you want to do to always come up now I'm hoping we win because if we can bust through look it I got 36 no matter what I'm up 10 grand see this makes horse betting a little more exciting I'm still looking for more of a glitch type of glitch for Xbox but this is just as good if you know how to use your odds to your advantage and shout out to Sprite I'm drinking one So that hasn't changed. We win again. So 56. There we are. So guys, to start off this money glitch, what you're gonna need to do is set your spawn location to the last location. Now you're gonna go down to where I am. Now it can be any location as long as there's a ATM. So just look for ATM around the map. There is quite a few dotted around the place. But I'm going to be at this one right here. Now what you want to do is you want to walk right up to it so you've got the option to go right in the d-pad. Now you're going to pull up your phone and you're going to go to a job. Now it can be any kind of job, a semi kind of job, anyway. So you just want to have that up on your phone and you want to accept it. And as soon as you accept it, you want to keep on spamming right in the d-pad. So you're entering the ATM while you're in the scan. Now you want to keep on spamming right in the d-pad until you get into the mission. And then once you're fully in the mission, that's when you want to leave. So we're just going into the mission right now. Now once we're in the mission, like when we come back out, that's when you can stop spamming. So guys, I'm in the mission right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. So guys, once you're fully back in the game, you should be at the ATM still. Now, this is why we set it to last location. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to the ATM again. Now, once we've got the right D-pad option, we're going to bring up our phone. We're going to go to the website and our website browser. And we're going to go to the maze bank. Now, we're going to go to the main menu and we're going to uh, withdraw all our money. So I would say your max you can withdraw is 1-0. But uh, I say you had 50k in your bank, just withdraw that because that's what you'll be duplicating. So once you've withdrawn it, you just want to go to the ATM, like press it in the D pad. Now, once you're about to go into the ATM, you want to go ahead and deposit this time. So you're going to deposit the same amount of money you just withdrawed through the phone. So you're just going to click yes to deposit that and now once you've done that you just want to go ahead and press pause. Now if you get a glitchy kind of screen it might take a couple of times, times before it comes up but if you get a glitchy screen in the background like you'll see soon it will kind of switch to the left and the right so once you do get that you're good to go. So I'm just showing you right now I'm getting a glitchy screen in the background I'm just on the map and stuff like that trying to make sure it does work as it's not like showing it at the best as it does usually show you. So once we do that, 
what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to cruise now once you're in cruise you're just going to select any kind of crew you want now you could accept some invitations that will also work but I just changed to a different crew that I was already in so I'm going to set it as my active crew it will give you this alert you just want to go ahead and accept it now it will say you're a part of it just accept the alert as well then you'll get another alert saying that you have changed the crew during a session so you're just going to go ahead and wait until you load up into the sky at the character selection bit and you're just going to select the character you are on before Now right now I'm going to select my male character because that was the character that I was on. Now once you do get back in online we're going to look for a gang attack so there is lots dotted around the map so you can pick any kind of one you, uh, you would like to go to or use for this glitch. It does not matter, I'm just going to find a random one that I do come across in the game. So I just found this one here in the video, now I'm just going to go ahead and enter it now you're gonna have guys that will that will want to kill you so you just want to go ahead and fight back and basically it doesn't matter what gun you use you just want to shoot them and you want to leave one person now that one person will make your game kind of glitch out now right now I'm just gonna kill all the people I'm gonna leave one guy I did die a couple of times I don't know why they were just too good for me um, but you guys, once you kill all of them and left one person, that's when we can move on to the next step. Now, as you see that I'm killing them in the video, I'm just going to keep on killing them until I leave the last person. It's a small area as well, so it should be pretty easy. Now, the only thing is, when you're doing this gang attack, players can also come and kill you during this which can be annoying but it doesn't matter if they enter the gang attack as well so if they like, finish it then you're gonna have to go to another one but if they shoot some people and leave one guy and you leave the area before they kill that one guy the glitch will still work so right now I'm just gonna finish off killing them now guys once you kill them you wanna go ahead and get any kind of vehicle and you wanna get out of that area as fast as possible now you're gonna look for another ATM it doesn't have to be the same one, it could be any kind of one that's around the area. So I'm going to go to this one that I do show in the video. It's like a green ATM, the Flicka one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up to the ATM. We're going to press right on the D-pad to access it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to deposit all the money we got from that gang attack. Which you can sometimes collect money from it. So you just want to make sure all your money is deposited. But you need to use the ATM for it. So now guys, once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and restart your game. So just close the application and load GTA 5 back up. Now you'll get a bunch of loading screens obviously. Now you just want to wait until all of them are done and you want to make sure you load up online. Now if you do everything correctly and you load up online, you should get an alert saying that you are being rewarded money from Rockstar. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like as it does your support, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest and the greatest G5 online content. And with that being said, I'm VapidHD, and I'm signing out. Peace. What is up? If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and also like this video, guys, to win 10 million GTA 5 dollars. So if you want to join the giveaway of 10 million GTA 5 dollars, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and like this video. Let's go. Yo, what is up? It's your boy Trees, and welcome to a brand new GTA 5 video here on the channel. Today, guys, I am going to show you a very, very helpful GTA 5 money glitch, and this is actually the most helpful money glitch if you already made some money from my other GTA 5 money glitch videos. But this will definitely get you super, super rich. This is like the most money that you can make from any freaking glitch on my entire channel. So make sure to go watch this video till the very, very end. This is definitely worth watching. You're going to be making millions and millions and millions of dollars. This glitch is, however, going to be taking place at the arena. You don't need this fancy car. I just wanted to show off and drive in with this fancy Tempesta 
but you actually do need an elegy which is this car right here it's free you can just get it from the legendary store at your mobile phone if you go to internet and go to travel you can get this car for absolutely free so this is one of the two cars that we're going to use for this specific glitch guys the allergy is the car that we're not going to dupe this is the car we're going to use to duplicate the other cars duplicating glitches are the glitches that make us the most money but for duplicating cars we actually need quite a lot of money to upgrade cars i actually have a video on how to upgrade and how actually everything works around a duplication glitch what matters to a duplication glitch what makes the car worth a lot of money and all those things where do you need to upgrade the car all of these things click on the card right now if you want all the information on gta 5 duplication glitches as this video is super informative and tells you literally anything also about cell limits and all of that stuff i click on that video right now and uh, after that keep on watching this one so if you guys did watch that video fully you are now ready to join me on this duplication glitch adventure here at the arena we're going to be duplicating this IC classic the IC classic is fully upgraded like you see right here literally everything's upgraded to the max and the car sell limit is 1.6 million dollars so so obviously it's the worth of this car that we want to duplicate as we make the most money from this specific car what we need for that is an allergy i already showed you guys this car before but we can easily get it from legendary cars and then we sort by the price and actually right here you will find the free allergy you click on the price and then you click on order and you can actually just send it to this specific location or maybe you already own an allergy you can just go outside call the mechanic up and send the allergy to this location so right now we got those two cars set up we run to the spectator box which we got right here guys this is the spectator box and we're going to be joining our friends our friends are gonna help us do this glitch but be aware it doesn't need to be a friend it can also be someone out of the community you can go through the menu of gta 5 itself but for example if you're on playstation you can just go into the playstation menu and join friends from there or someone out of the community so before i'm going to tell you guys how to glitch out i'm actually going to tell you all the rules the person that you're going to join has to be in an open session he cannot be in a job and he can also not be in yeah, any certain type of mission also you have to go into your gta 5 options and set matchmaking to open without matchmaking on open or if someone is actually in a private session you are not able to do this glitch so make sure you have everything set up nicely you cannot see on forehand what someone else is doing so it's easier if a friend just goes into an open session and it's just free roaming but you can also join a community a member if you want to do it solo but a friend is easier so follow all the rules and then go inside of the spectator box by the way if you guys haven't seen my other gta 5 money glitch videos make sure to go ahead subscribe turn on the post notifications and like this video also for the giveaway if you want to join the giveaway make sure to do these things and also for these gta 5 money glitches that are gonna help you really a lot getting money in gta 5 so from here let's continue the glitch guys the only thing you gotta do right here when you join the spectator box you have 30 seconds to join a friend who is in an open session while you have your matchmaking on open and remember your friend cannot be in a mission or any kind of job i do want to say that this is actually a solo glitch because you're actually joining a friend but he doesn't need to do anything it can also be someone out of community so it's literally a solo glitch guys easy as that so this time you're going to join that specific friend which actually lives up to all the rules that i just told you guys and what happens is you're going to be spawning below the map guys below the map we're going to be spawning and what happens on gta 5 when you fall below the map you fall even more below the map i guess and then actually you land on the map this always happens with any type of glitch i've did so far on the channel so basically what you do from here is you're trying to make your way back to the arena how you do that is just up to you you can just pick your mk2 call your mechanic up i think that is the fastest way to do it or just uh, grab a straight vehicle and drive there if there's a step that doesn't work for you or maybe you're like having a hard time completing it make sure to go and comment down below with like i got a question or something don't say like it's not working because it's working you can see it right here but just comment something like 
I got a question. I will reply on it as fast as possible and try to help you guys out. So when you did fall off the map, you know 100% sure that this glitch is gonna work out for you. Then we're going back to the arena and we're going to actually jump into the free allergy. So this thing is going to be really, really glitchy. We're going to be able to drive our allergy this time in the arena only grab your allergy guys because with the other cars you're going to mess up the glitch and we can actually make the allergy disappear in the arena that's what we want to accomplish with this specific method so we're going to drive into here and you will see that the car just disappears right away then we're walking into the blue circle and we're going to trade the disappeared allergy with the car that we want to duplicate which is in this case the IC Classic. So what happened right now is that now we get two IC Classics. We get two IC Classics now guys and the left one which is this one is obviously where the Elegy was is now an IC Classic that is the duplicated one and this is the original car. So get into the original IC Classic the first one and make sure to open up your phone. From here you want to go into quick jobs you want to go to activity you want to go to arm wrestling and you want to join a session and click on alone. This way you're going to be put out of the arena. This is the only way you can actually get out of the arena now. Maybe you're thinking like this is quite a lot of steps cheese for just like an arena glitch where you just duplicate vehicles. But imagine you can get 1.6 million dollars every time you duplicate this vehicle and it only it doesn't even take you 10 minutes to duplicate it. Once you got the hang of it, it is the best glitch ever. Right now, we are in a session, the arm wrestling session. We're going to quit this session right now because we don't really want to arm wrestle. We just want to get money. So, guys, we spawn outside and we're going to be looking for the original IC Classic, which is just around the corner right here. And once you find it, you get back into the car and then you actually go and request your MOC. You go to services, then you go to mobile operations center, and then you gonna request your MOC guys so basically the MOC is gonna spawn somewhere around the map is gonna take like 10 seconds for it to spawn drive towards it and try to go into the back of it if you want to go in this vehicle make sure to press right on the d-pad you're basically getting closer to it and then it's gonna say like do you want to store your vehicle in the MOC and obviously this is what you want to do you want to drive it in there and what's gonna happen it's gonna save the car it's gonna give the car a different Plate, a number plate than uh, the car that is actually duplicated and is now in your arena. So now we actually changed the number plate of the original IC Classic and we're about to drive it back to the arena to actually finish off this glitch. If you guys still got questions or just anything, let me know down below in the comments. And actually someone drove into me but just go back into your arena back into your workshop and then i will show you which car we need to be selling because obviously we don't want to be selling the original car that would be really stupid we're not gonna like duplicate a duplicated vehicle the next time so make sure you keep your original car that is the one we're driving in right now like i said a couple of times already you should pick your original car otherwise it's not going to work so you're using your original car to do the glitch and afterwards you're going to sell the duplicate vehicle obviously to get the money so now the duplication process is actually completed we have two cars with two different plates we're going to jump into the duplicated vehicle and then we're going to click right on our d-pad when it says modify your vehicle so when we do that we click right on our d-pad and actually we go into the garage of course of this workshop and here you have the ability to sell this vehicle you can see that everything has been duplicated the same upgrades it's, a, it's just like literally the same car but then it's yeah it's a duplicated vehicle that's what we wanted so right now we're going to sell and you can see it's going to be sold for 1.6 million dollars guys like i said in the beginning of this video make sure to go watch the information video about duplication glitches as well as there is a sell limit for these cars right now we got 1.6 million dollars just from this glitch and obviously if you want to do it again you're going to be needing the original car which we still have in our workshop and we're going to be putting our money on our bank as fast as possible because we don't want to be losing our money if someone shoots us or anything like that so yeah guys we have the money that we wanted and we still have the car which we can still duplicate we can just back to back duplicate this car all we got to do is go on our phone and get ourselves this free allergy from 
the shop. If you want to do it again, make sure to go to Sword by Price, click on the analogy, give it a color, and then order the car. Simple as that. And you can just select this specific location or put it elsewhere and call up your mechanic and let it bring towards you. So if you want to do it another time, make sure to go ahead and watch this video once again. And also watch the information video that's going to help you out. And uh, if you do it a couple of times, you actually get the hang of it and make a whole lot of money. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, make sure to go and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and like this video to win 10 million GDA 5 dollars. This was Cheese. Peace.